Hello everyone, today I want to show you Robot Turtles by ThinkFun. And this is a STEM-based board game. It is geared towards science, technology, engineering, and math. This game introduces children ages four and up to basic coding concepts. I got this game for my four-year-old and she's absolutely loving this game right now. She has to play it almost every day. And I think it's a really fun and engaging game for toddlers and um, for children ages four and up. So this game, I like it because it was inspired by the logo programming language and it encourages kids to write programs with playing cards. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the game brings and how to play a basic game. And also at the end, I will show you my four year old giving it a try. So here we have a big board that it brings. This is the map for the game. Um, it also brings uh, four robot turtles. As you can see, these are the robot turtles and it comes in different colors. Um, it also brings four jewels and these jewels correspond to the colors of the robot turtles. These robot turtles correspond for each of the players. So there's four players and there's also one more player, which is the mover who moves the pieces in the game. So this game allows for up to five players. It brings an instructions manual and the instructions manual will teach you how to play a very basic game and then go on and play the more advanced versions of the game. It brings four decks of cards and these are the different functions um, that can be used to write the program. It brings 40 tiles and these are the obstacles in the game. It also brings these little bugs and I will show you in a moment how we are going to be using these little bugs. Okay, so to play a basic game, the child would choose a turtle. So let's say the child chooses uh, this turtle and this jewel here. We'll place the jewel in the middle. So this is for one player, as you can see. So then the child would use the playing cards to write a program. The goal of the game is for the turtle to get to the jewel. So then the child would start using the cards to tell the turtle where to go. As you can see, these are the different cards. This is um, to go left, this is to go straight, this is to go right, and this is to melt ice. Um, we're not gonna be using this in the beginning, so this is the most basic part of the game. Um, as you can see the turtle here, there's a little guide. So there's a little three little flowers, a yellow flower, a blue flower, and a purple flower. And this serves as a guide to help the child pick the card um, of where they want to go. So if they want to go left, they would pick the yellow card, which is um, this card right here. So the child starts writing the program. Straight, 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 straight. So the child moves the, the cards and the mover goes ahead and moves their pieces. And it could be, this could be the parent, this can be another player, etc. So let's say the child wants to turn left now. So they would turn towards the yellow flower. So they will use this card left and they will continue writing their program. Now they say the child wants to turn right. So then they would use this card here. And then lastly, they would go straight and then they would reach the jewel and then they would have one. Now everyone wins in this game, which is awesome. There are no losers. As you can see, this is the program that was written to play this game. This is the most basic form of the game. If you want to make it more difficult, what you do is you start adding obstacles. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you add obstacles. So you want to introduce the ice melting card when you are um, doing the obstacles, if you're going to be using ice walls. So here are the three obstacles that you can use in the game. You have a ice wall. So for the ice wall, the child can use the ice function card to melt ice. And they will turn it into a puddle of water. That's the first obstacle. Here's another obstacle. This is a concrete wall and the child cannot break this wall down or melt it or do anything. They have to go around the brick wall, the concrete wall. And lastly, we have the obstacle of a crate and the child can move this crate just as long as there's nothing on the other side of it. If there's something on the other side, the child cannot move this crate. So you want to start off with one obstacle at a time until the child has mastered um, the one obstacle, then move on to two obstacles and three and so on and so on. 
So let's say that you want to place a couple of obstacles around the, the board game here, just to make it a little bit more challenging. So then the child will start writing their program. So here we are. We want to get the turtle to the jewel. So we want to melt that ice. Turn it into water. Keep going straight. So they keep playing the game as they would navigating themselves to the jewel. Then you can go ahead and place more obstacles on the board game. Um, you can place as many obstacles as you want. You also can use here the instructions manual. As here you can see um, the different board setups, the different game board setups that you can do um, to set up the obstacles for the children. You can also go to thinkfun.com forward slash robot turtles to see the different um, board setups that you can use with the obstacles. Um, to make the game more difficult, another level of the game that you can do is called Write Program. And in this, in this way, um, the child would, instead of going one turn at a time, they would write an entire program in one sequence So, in order to get to the jewel. So they would write the program and they would tell the mover where to go using whatever cards they want. And then at the end, then they would, um, the mover would move their pieces following their program to see if that program that they wrote actually gets them to the jewel. And this is the more advanced form of the game in which a child has to think ahead um, to, to write their program and get to the jewel. Um, if the child's program does not get them to the jewel, then they will have to start all over again and write another program from the start. Um, forgot to mention the bug card here. If the child um, does a mistake, they can just hit bug, bug, and then you can undo a move by doing that. Um, very simple. And then the, 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 mo the most complex form of the game is using this function card, and it's, this is called uh, function, tur function frog. And this is the most uh, complex form of the game. And it's basically, um, the goal with this card is to, to, um, to write a program with as few cards as possible that gets the turtle to the jewel. And like I said, this is the most advanced form of the game. Um, when you want to start off with um, a three or four year old, you don't want to start off with this card. So I'll let you guys look into this um, function frog aspect of the game for the most advanced players. So that is basically it, guys. I've showed you how to play the, mo the, the most basic form of the game with a few obstacles and also using the, uh, the right program uh, form of the game as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and show, show you my four-year-old playing the game um, so that you can get a view of how a four-year-old would play the game. If you want more information about this game, please visit thinkfun.com forward slash robot turtles. I will also place a link on the description box where you can get the game. Okay, so here's Jade giving the game a try. Here's Jade playing robot turtles with her dad and her dad is going to be the mover and she's going to be the turtle master. And we've set up a simple game with just a couple of obstacles there with the robot turtle dot. All right, Jade, you ready to play? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Let's start writing your program. Straight.
which which way do you want to go? Look at the little flowers. Do you want to go towards the blue flower, towards the purple flower, towards the yellow flower? Towards the yellow flower. If you go towards the yellow flower, you're gonna go this way. Do you want to go this way? I want to get to the jewel. Yeah, you want to get to the jewel. And which flower is close to the jewel, Jade? Is it the yellow, the blue, or the purple? Hmm. The blue. The blue flower. Okay, so we're going to pick the blue card. Da, 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 da. And you won, Jake! <laughs> Good, five. Good job! All right, Jake, thanks for sharing. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.